In the name of the Almighty Allah, the Most High, I come in peace. In this video, I will share some truth of what you may not have been aware about the Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. There are several scriptural references that I shall highlight. The first reference is from the Quran, Surah number 7, verse 157. It reads as follows. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find mentioned in their own scriptures, in the law and the gospel, for he commands them what is just and forbids them what is evil. He allows them as lawful what is good and pure and prohibits them from what is bad and impure. He releases them from their heavy burdens and from the yokes that are upon them. So it is those who believe in him, honor him, help him, and follow the light which is set down with him. It is they who will prosper. The next verse is from Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 17 through 18. It reads as follows. And Yah said unto me, they have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto you and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Another reference is from Quran Surah 33 verse 40. It reads as follows. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets, and Allah has full knowledge of all things. The next reference is from Isaiah chapter 29, verses 11 through 12. It reads as follows. For you, this whole vision is nothing but words sealed in a scroll. And if you give the scroll to someone who can read and say, read this, please, he will answer, I can't. It is sealed. Or if you give the scroll to someone who cannot read and say, read this, please, he will answer, I don't know how to read. The understanding of these verses is as such. The latter verse implies that the one who cannot read could, however, open the seal, hence describing the prophet Muhammad who could not read or write and is called the unlettered prophet. The word unlettered is an adjective meaning of a person poorly educated or illiterate. Furthermore, Muhammad is also called the seal of the prophets, and that is also a reference to that seal that only he could open. Now, in the verses referenced from the book of Deuteronomy, the prophecy clearly states that this future prophet, who would be like unto Moses, would be raised from among the brothers of the Israelites, meaning the Ishmaelites. It is a fact that the Israelites and Ishmaelites are brothers, no matter how much they dislike it. So there it is, the truth. Muhammad fulfills the prophecy of the long-awaited prophet that Yah would send for all mankind. So praise and thanks to Yah, Allah, the sustainer most high, the owner and ruler of all the boundless universes.